y'all she was seven okay so i'm not gonna be in this video because i just wanted to stay in my pajamas and look like a bum all day but i had a video request and i just wanted to do it real quick but so you're just gonna have to look at this this is my wedding picture y'all um so the video is going to be about should you take advice from women who aren't married and single or feminists as some people call them should you take relationship advice from them and my answer is very simple I think that you should listen to them and let them talk and let them suggest things to you and let them say all that they want to say because sometimes the best teacher of knowledge is yourself so by them telling you all of this and that they're actually teaching themselves now or they're pointing out certain things that they might not have seen from their perspective but when they're telling you or teaching you sometimes they stop themselves in their brain and say that's why this didn't work out or you know that not, might not be right but I'm just gonna say it because you know whatever it's too late so sometimes when they're giving you advice they're actually teaching themselves um, I would not take that advice to heart. I would not take it too seriously. I would listen to it. I would take something from it that I could learn from mistakes not to make, repeat, or certain things like that. But if you want good advice, you need to find someone who has been married for at least over 10 years, okay? You need to find somebody who's been married at least over 10 years or been with the same person over 10 years, okay? Now, I've, I've been married forever. Uh, I've been with the same person since 2001. Uh, I've been married since 2006. See, I got a ring? Okay. Um, <laughs> so what I'm trying to say is the advice that you get should be from women who have been married, who are in relationships, who want, who, I mean, who want the best for you, and who would be a good example to follow, um, who follow advice from women who have what you want, okay? Um, that's just basic knowledge. You're not going to follow a broke man um, to the stock market and invest in what he tells you to invest in, and he has no money, is that correct? You're gonna follow the man that has money to invest, um, with you're going to follow his lead you're not going to follow the person that's broke okay so think of it in terms of money think of it in terms of currency think of it as in, in terms of energy do that does that person have a husband do they have a relationship do they have a man that they have pleased and for over 10 years if the if the answer is no then their advice is more for themselves than it is for you okay and i know y'all want to look at this Hold on, I'll find a good picture of myself. Um, so, what I'm saying is, when you listen to people, just let them talk. They need to talk for themselves. It's not They're not trying to help you. They're trying to figure out where they went wrong. Um, <laughs> but honestly, okay, I'll show y'all the picture. Oh, isn't that pretty? Y'all like my dress? Okay. Um, so, yeah. That is my advice on taking advice from people who are not married and who are single. Because they have nothing to offer you. They have more to offer themselves by talking about their own situations. Okay. Um, anyway. So, please remember that. Don't shut them down. Just let them talk because they might need to hear where they went wrong. Um, and a lot of people say, oh, a lot of people think I'm a feminist. I'm not a feminist. Um, I just have a very strong opinion about certain things. But that doesn't make me a feminist. I don't put myself in a category because I, I am married. I do have a husband. I do think men um, are supposed to do this and women are supposed to do that. But... That's not the only way, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying that there's different situations for different people. 
this is my way. This is my opinion. Uh, you know, if you want what someone has, you listen to what they say. If you want what this person has, you listen to what they say. So this is my advice to women who um, are single and who want a husband they can please. I'm going to tell you one time, and that's it, one time. Let the man be a man. That's it. Let him be a man, and then you be the woman. Do not try to take on his roles. Do not try to take over his masculinity by making yours stronger. Um, what else? Even if you know better and he's about to make a mistake, let him make the mistake and then don't punish him for making the mistake. Um, simply show a better example of what he could have done. Uh, for instance, like a lot of women will say, oh, no, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's going to. You're going to mess this up. You're going to mess it up. That's not how you do it. You know, for a simple task like doing laundry or uh, sweeping the floor or cleaning up. Women have their own particular way of doing something. And when they see their man attempt to do it, attempt to help them, and they get upset because they're not doing it the right way or they're doing it wrong. When you stop them and say, hey, don't do it that way. Do it my way because it's better and I've done it a million times so I know what I'm talking about. You shut them down. You make them feel less and you do this and that. Just let them do it their way. Then the next time when they're around you, do the same thing that they did but your way and watch how easier it looks. And they will watch how easier it looks when you do it and they will ask you or they will start doing it your way. You lead by example. You don't shut down and dominate. You don't uh, say, well, that's wrong. You can't do it like that. Let me show you how to do it. Don't do it at all if you're going to mess it up. If you're too particular about how things should be, lead by example. Make sure they see what you do. It's just like when you are when you have kids and you know, you're know you um, sweeping or doing whatever and they watch you. They pick up the little kid broom and they start doing the same thing. You don't shut them down. If they do it wrong, you encourage them. And that's what I'm, that's what they need. You don't shut them down because how would you like it if someone shut you down? So that's my number one advice for women who are single. Let a man be a man. Don't pursue a man. Let a man pursue you. That is the man's job. Not his job, but that is what he likes to do. He likes to pursue. Um, he likes to lead. He likes to do things his way until he finds a better way. And so what if it's you that teaches him the better way? By not belittling him, but being an example to him. Okay, that's why people get married in the first place, to merge minds. I mean, that's what marriage is, is to merge into one. So, you can't take over him, and he can't take over you. But if you learn from each other, you become part of each other. He has your best qualities because he learned from you. You have his best qualities because you learn from him. No one dominates the situation but the woman does not put down the man, and the man does not put down the woman. They learn from each other. It's sort of like a spiritual, uh, it's sort of like spiritual alchemy. Um, when you take your right brain and your left brain and you combine them to be creative and logical at the same time. You know, your left brain doesn't take over your right brain because then you would just be, you know, off in la la land and your right brain doesn't take over your left brain because you would be a boring person and no one would be, want to be around you because you have no creativity you have no style you you know stuff like that so a marriage is a merge so remember that it's not about my way or the highway do it this way it's not about i'm in charge or no we're equal it's no you're you are one that means you have to merge in your thinking um that's why when you get married they have you light candles they give you two candles and you're supposed to light one together. It's called the unity candle, which means now you are one, which means you're going to you're going to take on my best qualities and I'm going to take on your best qualities and we're going to be like finishing each other's sentences cuz we know each other so well. It's not a battle. Once you get married, it's, the sex is no longer a battle. It's just one. And a lot of people will find this out in marriage. 
it's not going to be that way at first. Um, the point is to merge mentally. Um, and I think like in the Dead Sea Scrolls or in the Gospels of Thomas, Jesus um, was quoted in there and he said, marriage is for humans, mortals, which mean they're not spiritually or uh, they're not spiritually ascended in their in their brains or their minds yet so in order to merge the right and the left brain um they have to be around each other women and men have to be around each other to pick up the feminine qualities to pick up the masculine qualities to merge them into a spiritual quality um i know i always quote songs and stuff but you know that song purple rain um is about the left and the right the masculine and the feminine becoming one um blue is represented representative of the feminine and red is representative of the masculine and when you combine blue and red you get purple which is the crown chakra which is enlightenment so marriage is basically for enlightenment physically spiritually and mentally and if you don't understand that don't get married yet um because if you get married and you don't know what marriage really is spiritually then there's going to be a lot of divorce you are marrying this person or this man to merge mentally and spiritually together okay it's for your spiritual benefit it's for your higher vibration it's for your higher understanding of life it's to remove the veil okay so that's what marriage is do not take advice from someone who is alone let them talk because they need to learn okay peace